how can I make more money consistently? I need to make more sales and I need them to be more consistent. I need some new sales strategies. How can I improve my cash flow and make it more consistent? I have good months and I have bad months. How do I level that out? Well, we're going to cover that and a whole lot more coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Silva and I'm a referral coach. I help real estate agents, mortgage lenders, financial planners, and insurance agents make more sales without cold calling or door knocking. I do this by showing them how to build a referral-based practice. If you have ever said, I need more referrals, I hate chasing leads around, I hate cold calling, I hate going on appointments and getting stood up, I can help you with all of this and much more. Just send me an email for more information. Now the topic for you, less stress more income less stress more income so the thing i see the biggest mistake i see uh, in consulting thousands and thousands of people all over the world on business development especially referral generation on networking is they get busy and they go i'm busy i'm too busy to network or to market they shut everything off because they're busy what i want to do is uh, draw a picture of what this looks like and then just give you some ideas on maybe when you're busy you should network more not less network more. So let's talk about that. Let's draw a little picture for you. All right. So what we're looking at here, if you're alone and you're struggling and you have nothing in your pipeline, you might scream out, oh, and oh crap. I'm going to show you how to hopefully attempt to eliminate the oh sh crap. So I want you to, I want you to look at this and, and think about you're doing really well and business is coming in like crazy. So that's this direction in red. What we have here is we have a person that's really busy. They're rocking. And then we have a line going down this direction and that's them turning off their networking and their marketing because they're busy. And then they get up here and they are killing it. Busy, busy, busy. And then this is bottomed out right here. This spot right here, I'm gonna explain in a second. What I want you to understand is when you're really busy, most people turn their efforts off and I wanna challenge you to do more. So I have a friend named Jen who's an attorney and she's bankruptcy law. So if she's watching this video, she's smiling right now. She told me in bankruptcy law, every time I make a sale, I'm now unemployed with that person for the next seven years because they can't file bankruptcy again. So whatever business you're in, I want you to think if you have a ton of business going, let's say you have 15 deals going, some are going to fall off and the rest are going to close. Now, whether they fall off or you close the business, the second you've signed the deal and moved on that moment in time, you're unemployed. So you're either working on the next deal and then you're employed again, or you have to go look for business again. The longer the sales cycle in your business, so my wife and I help people invest in land. That's the other half of my life, investing in land. And the sales cycle for that is anywhere from two weeks to get paid, it's three weeks to six weeks. In traditional real estate, wow, it's two to six months to get paid once you get a deal. So if you're rocking, you have three homes for sale, and then one falls off and you close the other two and you didn't do any marketing efforts now you're going to be unemployed for the next you're going to have no money coming in for the next three months that's stress this is stress right here you've closed the deals the business and now for that moment in time or maybe for a couple months you're unemployed and this spot right here is that oh sh ah i'm screwed because now as business is going oh, i'll just ramp up my networking yeah but if you have a sales cycle that's three or four days that's okay if your sales cycle i, I specialize in insurance agents mortgage lenders real estate agents financial planners the sales cycle is not a couple weeks sometimes it's months and months and months so what I'm gonna challenge you to do is when you're really busy to not completely drop everything. You're better off with this. And you're trying to have, you're trying to have your efforts so there aren't any real big drops. These gaps here in the amount of time your sales cycle takes and the amount of time it takes you to turn your networking back on, this is stress. We wanna keep everything flowing. Now some of the advantages of networking more when you're busy. So when we're doing land, we've had as many as nine or 10 escrows growing, going at the same time. We go network more because when you have that many deals going, something's gonna fall off. Whether you lose the client, which is very rare that happens to us because we deal in referrals, or you close the business. When you close the business, it's still, it's still out of the pipeline. Whether it's they leave, you fire them, or you close the deal, it's gone. So what we wanna do is we wanna understand the 80-20, the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule. Now I want you to listen to this because you're going to start laughing. Okay, 
80% of your money is made by the top 20% of your clients. It's 80-20. 80% of your money is made by the top 20% of your clients. Here's another thing. 80% of your time is wasted by the bottom 20%. See, we've had investors that have done millions of dollars and never asked one question. We've had investors who did $30,000. They're ringing your phone off the hook asking you 10,000 questions. Whatever business you're in, insurance, mortgage, financial planner, uh, real estate, uh, whatever it is, you've had clients that go, sign me up, let's, let's go. And other people, oh my God, how much, how much, how, I would say call, calling you on the phone, call, hey, you know, uh. your networking going or your business development going, no matter how busy you are, keeping it going gives you the opportunity to fire clients. There's nothing better in the world than firing clients. So if you have some clients that are paying you $10,000 a year and some clients that are paying you $500 a year, I think you would agree you want more $10,000 uh, clients. The only way you're gonna get that is to fire the lower clients, refer them to someone else. But if you're doing this and you're constantly, your stress is constantly going up and down and you're turning off your business development, for me, it's networking, meeting with power partners. You don't have the opportunity to get picky and to fire clients. What I'm getting at is the busier you are, the more you should network, not less because you're not indestructible. You gotta build a referral-based practice and you gotta keep pushing because there's gonna come a time when you close the business and boom. So I talked to people, I go, I had a $60,000 a month. Well, great. They didn't do any networking that month and the next month they made 5,000. When you have a $60,000 a month and a $5,000 a month, you had two $35,000 a month. That's what you had. You didn't have a, you, you had a $60,000 a month and you did this and then you crashed down. What I'd like to see is 35, 40, $45,000, $50,000 months, not 65, because now you're freaking out. 30, 10, 80, zero. If you level it out, cash flow levels out, stress levels out, it allows you, if you have business coming in all the time, it allows you to become picky, 80, 20. 80% of your money is made by the top 20% of your clients. 80% of your time is wasted by the bottom 20%. You cannot be picky with who you work with and then exponentially grow your income if you're doing this and turning your business development off every time you get a little busy. Hope this helps. Let me know if you need any help. Thank you.